Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. We are doing general energy readings for January, I almost said December, January 7th and 8th, and this is for Virgo. So Virgo, let's see what's going on. As always, I'm using my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I do that for my general energies. For my um, longer readings, I use all three of my cards, but this one, ooh, general energy. Now that's weird, okay. Um, also, um, know that this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest. And Virgos, thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for viewing. I really do appreciate and love all of you who do this. So, well, you know, the ones that don't view, I can't love them because I don't know them. But I know you, and I want to thank you for your comments. Let's go through this. We're going to just start really quick. One card came out so far, I'm going to pull the others, and you know, when you see this other card, you're going to say, whoa, what, again? That was when I said this is weird, because you get this card. You get this card a lot, but okay, I pulled these three out. Oh, I have meditated, prayed, and infused with Reiki energy. Okay, okay, so when have we seen this one before? The moon. The moon. <laughs> Again, highly into it. You know, your your intuition is very high right now. We're entering into that. You know, you're you're in that spiritual change, that transformation. Please watch that one through sixteen again. Um, okay, so important psychic insights, events behind the scene, release fears that hold you back. Now, with the moon, you remember there is a there's the side of the moon that you never see, the side that is illuminated. We only see that one side of the moon. That, you know, I mean, that would like that would be like only seeing, you know, if we were looking at Earth, we would only see the part of, of Europe, okay? You know, I mean, that's like the only thing we ever see. There is that other side that's behind that. There is the side that we don't know. But with this and with you, Virgo, and with the general reading that I did, the, the bigger reading, there is so much that it, you don't know that is being revealed to you. So, you know, so be aware of that. Virgo, you do have, a, you do have the ability to block that. So if you're not, you know, if you're not, um, you know, coming to a point where you can, and you can meditate, if you take the train, you can meditate on the train, put some earbuds in, you know, listen to some, you know, meditation, but always do this. If you're outside, do this in a safe area because I don't want, you know, people to come and snatch a purse or anything like that. Don't know why I'm saying that. So any Virgos out there, please be careful about your possessions, but, you know, and make sure that you're aware of your surroundings. Don't know why, but I felt like I needed to say that. But at the same, that's not for all Virgos, but there might be one or two that that is for. But with that is, you know, you can, you can come home, you can, you know, you can take your lunch break. You can do a lot of little things where you can just center yourself and ground yourself and reach out to your divine, to your higher power. Because this is, I mean, these two days, again, you've been having this throughout the 1 through 16. So this may be um, the start of it. This may be a heightened day for you. Um, well, if it's the 7th and 8th, it's kind of in the middle of this time period for you. So it's like, you know, you're coming, you know, you've been kind of gradually going up to it and, you know, you're, you know, you're coming to that point where it might actually either start making more sense to you or you may actually, it might actually be a breakthrough to you, but something is happening. You keep getting this moon sign. Let, okay, let's see what the next card is. And this is reversed. The four of earth. Okay. And let's go to this next one. The Knight of Fire. Earth is your sign. Earth is your Taurus, your Capricorn, and your Virgo energy. Fire, of course, is your Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy. Earth is what you can, you know, what you can touch, what you can put in, you know, you can put your fingers in it. You can dig into the earth. You can touch the walls of your home. You can feel your money, things like that. Fire is very burning um, energy. It can be transient. It can be something that you fire, put the fire out. Or it can be long-lasting, too. But it's a very um, kinetic, very, very bursting energy. So let's see now. Four of Earth. Being too frivolous or too cautious with money. Good business decisions. 
giving to those less fortunate. You get this. You keep getting these cards. That's a card that you've gotten before. So what I'm going to say is, yes, your money is going to be okay. You ha it, it is going to be okay. You, you know, don't worry about that unless you are somebody. I don't know a lot of Virgos that do this, but there could be Virgos, and especially if you have other influencing signs. If you have other influencing signs, find out what those are and watch those videos too. Because, you know, you could, you, you know, the Virgo nature itself is, is a little bit more of a hoarder than it is to be too frivolous. But when you hoard your money, when you want to be frivolous, you can then be frivolous with it because you have been protecting your money. And, you know, but I'm seeing that a lot of your intuition will be also um, balanced with some money. Okay, so that could be balanced with your, you might be thinking about how to actually make some more money. You may be thinking about going out on your own to start a business, um, which might be kind of hard for you, Virgos, because in some ways, in many ways, you're an introvert. In many ways, you're, you know, you're, 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 you know, you're kind of, uh, you know, you don't, you know, you're kind of in the closet. You're kind of, I don't want to be around a lot of people. I don't want to be, you know, I don't, you know, so it would be kind, but yet, but yet when you are called to be a, around people, when you're called to do something, you're there, you're there. Okay, so the Knight of Fire is passionate, adventurous, self-assured, restless. A sudden event that needs immediate attention, time of the essence, think things through carefully. So what this is telling me is, you remember we talk about the, you know, the mind, heart, and spirit or soul. Uh, soul and spirit are a little different, but we're just going to classify them as that right now. So, you know, what this is, you know, the Virgo nature is such that even though you're having this high intuition, this high psychic ability, all of this, you know, high, high, you still, you know, your mind will always, your mind will always be a little bit more of the leader of your three, okay? You know, we do talk about not, you know, not letting your mind be your ruler, and you need to be your ruler's mind, so you need to take the other influences in. But in many ways for Virgos, it will be, you know, your mind will always be um, a bit much stronger. But as long as you know not to, be, not to subject yourself to, to your mind, you are not your mind's servant. Your mind is your servant. And, you know, and this, kind, this energy, it, it's... You know, I know it's a little bit, you know, these two days might be a little bit, um, you know, this reading might be a little bit all over the place, but I think that yours, it's like a controlled fire. You know how, you know, and again, I know we have a fire sign, but you know how the fire pe firemen, fire women, they, the fire department will do a, you know, they, they do a controlled burn. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. So it might be, you know, so even though, you know, yes, the psychic ability is going to be really there. The job is going to be really there. You know, the um, passionate, the, you know, even though these things are going to be there, they're going to be kind of like your balls that you're juggling, which is not something that Virgos you want to be doing. But even though those things are kind of in the air, or they're kind of, you know, you're juggling them, so you do have your hands on it at least two at a time, you're going to, it's going to be okay for you. It's going to make sense for you. You're going to understand it, okay? So, these will be, you know, I mean, this is another piece of that longer reading. And it just makes, it just gives a little bit more um, depth to it. Okay, Virgo, I want to thank you again. If you haven't subscribed, go below, subscribe, please comment. I love my comments. And I just want to tell you, Virgos, and let you know, if you don't know this, you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.